be careful, Mary. Don't go out in the street. You ain't my mother. Well, I'm going to tell her how you sass me when she comes home from work. See if I care. 7.30 is about due. That's what I like about Bobo. He eats breakfast early and always on time. You made me miss. The clutch slipped. During the 1920s, gang wars were just as commonplace as bathtub gin. It was a period in American history which produced just as many colorful and picturesque characters as the Old West. And men who were just as deadly, such as Legs Diamond, Dutchman Koenig, and Billy Boy Rockabye Creel. Billy Boy was as deadly and as ruthless a killer as the world of crime has ever known. Billy Boy was that most feared of all types of killers, an outlaw who preyed on the gang lords themselves. Kidnapping and extortion were especially kidnapping of gang leaders. He was sorry at Bobo because Bobo had double-crossed him in an extortion racket. He was out to get Bobo. Bobo was out to get him. I was out to get them both. My name is Barney Roditsky. 20 years gangster squad, police department, city of New York. Anytime they want it, they can have it. Anytime they want my badge, they can have it. Something uh, bothering you, Mr. Roditsky? Action. Action, McLeod says. You don't know better. Action, what action, huh? Putting in, I've been putting in 18 hours a day on this case ever since that poor little kid was gunned down. What do they want? I can't, I can't make an arrest until I find the punk that did it, can I? So what? So the commissioner's breathing down Captain McLeod's neck. What? What does he want from me? What does he want me to do? Same thing as the rest of New York City, I guess. Child killer still free. Vicious murderer of Shelley Weinbaum. Rome City scoffing at police. Yeah. I think it's pretty plain, Mr. Roditsky. They want you should deliver them Billy Boy Creel with or without benefit of a slab. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they want. What do they think I want, huh? And everybody else on the force. Look, look. You, you take a look at this. Look, description of the funeral. That poor little kid. Seven years old. There's a mother. There's a picture of a mother. 26. She's not even 30. She looks about 50. A widow working 10, 12 hours in some sweatshop. Her life is over. I had a quote from the sob sister. I only live for my little girl. And in a cloud, what he... Choose me out because you want action. Action? What, what, what does he think I want? No luck, huh? No. No, the punk has vanished. He just got up and smoked like Houdini. Well, that, uh, that steak out on Bobo's turned up anything? No, no, he hasn't moved. He, he's still holed up in that apartment of his with enough bodyguards to stand off an invasion. He hasn't moved since the day Billy Boy almost got him. You know what I think? Bobo is scared. Wouldn't you be if Billy Boy was out gunning for you? Three hundred and nineteen square miles of asphalt jungle. What cave are you hiding at, Billy Boy? Huh? The man. This just came for you, Kiki. Oh, thanks, honey. Just set it down, will you?
Honey baby, what do you want me to do? I gotta make a living. <laughs> Some living. What do those crumbs pay you? I ought to blast that joint right off the map. Oh, Billy, you're always talking about blasting. What's the matter with you anyway? Honey baby, I'm scared. Give me a kiss. Nuts every time I think of you. With all those rubes getting a good look-see out front. <laughs> jealous. My big bad boy's jealous of mommy. Why won't you let me set you up in an apartment? I'll tell you why. Because when that day comes, I want a wedding ring to go with it. <laughs> and nobody's putting a wedding ring on my finger that's packing a gun around. Not even you, Billy boy. <sighs> Why don't you call it off, baby, please? You could square things with Bobo. Shut up about Bobo. I can't shut up about Bobo. He'll get you, honey. He'll get you for sure. <laughs> that big mouth Dutchman, he should live so long. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> he should live so long. Pretty good, huh, mommy? I got his coffin all ordered. Here's to you, Big Mouth. Just keep right on squirming till Billy Boy gives you the old rock a -bye. All right, so he raised the ante. How much, Bobo? I don't know, 50 grand, maybe. Yeah, I'll go 50 grand. You're kidding. Am I? Spread the word around. I'll pay 50 grand just to get a look at Billy Boy's corpse. You're covered. Sucker was on the bottom of the deck before he dealt. My pal, you've been cheating. Wouldn't you rather be taken by friends and strangers, pal? Your deal, sucker. OK. This is for blood. The 50 grand, boss. Anybody eligible? Anybody who delivers Rockaby, I don't care. You, Smitty, any of the boys. Spread the word around. Bobo pays 50 grand on delivery. Hey, then, Claude. The town's crawling. Every torpedo, every two-bit hood, all gunning for Rockaby, including some out-of-town talent. Rumble is, Bobo offers 50 G's COD. No line on Billy Boy. Not on Nibble. That's a smart fish, Mr. Roditsky. If he comes up for air, nobody's seen him. It's gotta be somewhere. There's a girl. What girl? Name's Kiki Melody. Works at the Chit Chat. You know the joint? Yeah, I know. Try her, Mr. Roditsky. Won't do you any good, but try her. She and Rockaby used to light up a torch together as big as Grand Central. Used to? She gave him the air a while back. He wouldn't trade in his heater on a wedding ring. Maybe they patched it up. Try her. All right. Mr. Roditsky? Yeah? Rumble is Bobo offers 50 Gs to anybody. Anybody. So what do I get from you? You get a clean bill of health with your parole officer. You mix in this with Bobo and it's back to school for life. Get it? I got it. Night, little glowworm. Well, I'd give my regards to Joe.
I come in? Why? My name's Barney Roditsky. You're uh, Kiki Melody, aren't you? That's right. What do you want with me? Just some information. I'll come right to the point, Miss Melody. Where can I find Billy Boy Creel? What makes you think I'd know the answer to that one? My information is that you're his girlfriend. His girl? Sure, I went out with Billy a few times. I, I knew him, but that doesn't make me his girl. Then you uh, don't care about him. Is that what you're trying to say? You don't care whether he lives or dies? How he dies? What do you mean, how he dies? Well, I'll lay it right on the line. Bobo Koenig's out to get your boyfriend. You know about that, don't you? I don't know anything about any... Uh, what'd you say his name was, Bobo? <laughs> Want to play footsie, is that it? Okay, girl, I'll spell it right out for you. Bobo Koenig is the name of a gangster, and he's out to get your boyfriend. The word is that he's offered $50,000 for anybody who'll deliver him. Fifty... Fifty thousand dollars. That's a lot of money, Miss Melody. Do you realize how many gunmen that kind of money would inspire to flights of ecstasy, Miss Melody? Then why don't you cops arrest this Bobo? On what charge? He hasn't done anything yet. Billy can take care of himself. Oh, sure. Sure, he's got a couple of good fairies riding on each shoulder. And they'll still be there laughing their eyes out when Bobo catches up with them. You're just trying to scare me, that's all. Yep. That's exactly what I'm trying to do, trying to scare some sense into you. Now, come on, how about it? Where can I find Billy Boy? Even if I did know, what good would that do? What kind of a break would you give him? Well, I'd see that he got a nice clean cell where Bobo couldn't get to him. He'd have access to legal counsel and get a fair trial. The worst he could expect from the state of New York is sudden death in the electric chair. If he's lucky, he might, he might get life. If he's real lucky, he might even get an acquittal. Who knows? Well, Bobo gets to him first. Bobo doesn't play nice, Miss Melody. We're still trying to pin those hatchet murders on him from last Christmas. Remember? Did you ever see any pictures of those corpses? Hmm? <laughs> Whoever did it was carrying around an awful grudge. Those murdered men were just hacked to pieces inch by inch. You get out of here. Right. You think it over. Change your mind, you let me know. Hmm? You call me at this number any hour, day or night. Billy boy? 
Rudisky was here. What do you mean Rudisky was there? Honey, baby, everybody knows. Those Christmas killings, that was Bobo. Hacking those guys up like chop suey. No, I'm not hysterical. I'm just scared, scared, scared. Oh, why didn't you listen to Mommy Poochie? Do it their way. The cops will give you protection. And the hot seat. Are you out of your mind, Mommy? You get me out in broad daylight with all of New York after me to tell me that? Sure, it makes sense. Sense to the cops. That smart Roditsky. He tries to get you to finger me and you fell for it. Just shut up and listen. Go in the bathroom and wash your face. Take a nice nap and don't call me again unless it's really important. You like lollipops? Here. What do you want to do that for? Oh. I agree with the lady. You're a goon, pal. <laughs> now she's upset. Look at her garden. You see what you've done? Pay no attention to him, lady. He's a louse. You're going to tell now? Never. Too bad. What do you think? I think you should give her the perfume. You're going to like this lady. Special brand. I have it made up for me, exclusive. Real special, huh, lady? Turn your face around, lady. No use wasting it. All right, all right, all right. All I got's a phone number. You ring three times, then you wait. You ring three times again. Billy boy goes down to the drugstore on the corner and phones me from the booth. Forgive me, Billy. Forgive me. Forgive me. Why you gotta tag along, boss? Think I can't handle it alone? I got my pride. I wouldn't miss this for all the gin and Holland. How long does it take him to kick, you say? 15 minutes, 20, half hour, maybe. He takes no chances. What do we do with the lady, boss? She can point the finger. That one Smitty's through with her, she can't. Well, boy, you sure don't get your gin from Bobo. He's all you can taste is the juniper berries. How can you sit there and eat? It's easy. All I do is open my mouth and chew. I love New York at night, don't you? Yeah.
Hey, wait a minute. What'd you say, a doll? Where? Where'd you find it? Yeah, what's the address? West 23rd? What, two, three, two, two? Make sure, will you, huh? Come on, what is it now? All right. Yeah. That much? Hmm? I don't know. I, uh, I, I figure out I'll get in touch with you, right? Okay, thanks. Good night. I got Max Fields on the phone, told him to order two squad cars ready for heavy action. He was to proceed to Kiki's apartment. I'd take the other squad car to the drugstore on 23rd Street. Come on, will you? Cut it out. You're making me nervous. Did you see him, boss? The soldier boy. Come on, come on. Sure, boss, sure. Soldier boy, make room for Papa. Some of the meat work, and I'll notify all concerned. Doc, you better get a breath of fresh air. We counted them later. Fifty bullets. The first two had killed him. Oliver Quine, alias the Weaver, had hemstitched Billy Boy Rockaby Creel with the same expert marksmanship that had won him a medal in France. Bobo the Dutchman was lucky. We took him without a scratch. He was still unscratched when the state of New York strapped him into the electric chair. Kiki Melody wasn't so lucky. Max and his boys arrived just a few seconds too late. Or maybe Kiki was lucky at that. Before he shot her, Garden Smith had used up the rest of the Weaver's perfume bottle. 